There are so many stretch routines out there and it is hard to know which one is the right one and you may be wasting your time searching and trying a bunch of things. But I believe not wasting time is crucial when you're getting started because you don't want to lose the momentum and the motivation. Many stretch routines don't really explain why you're doing each position and the proper form. Also, many of them look like they are very, very light and I'm afraid it might not be very efficient. I normally don't preach the take it easy approach. I prefer something really simple and concise and intense enough for you to get results before you get discouraged. So I made a full body stretch routine, simple and easy to remember and apply. And I believe the level will be suitable to most of you. And even if you are getting started, you should not try anything easier than this. If you have more specific goals, such as front splits or middle splits, I made dedicated videos. I will link them uh, at the end of this video. Okay, so maybe now we should just get started. So our first stretch will be a side bend. I think people don't really think of that as something important, but for many sports and daily life, it is important to be able to bend your torso from a side to another smoothly. You don't wanna be super straight and stuck like a, like a Lego. It's, you know, you have to be able to move all directions. So I would recommend to hold this position about one minute on each side. You should try to go as deep as you can with your shoulder going as close to your leg as you can. And you want this arm extended too. Okay, next you're gonna have to touch your toes or the floor. So um, this is I think quite a basic skill. It's important to get used to it and get comfortable with it. So uh, the proper form is obviously you have to keep your legs straight and then you don't want to go with your back rounded. You want to push your stomach first. You can see there's much more stretch going on now. You don't want to escape, you know, like this. Stomach first, and it's okay if you're not touching at the beginning. You will get there. And I'm aware this can be very, very uncomfortable. And you may feel a lot of pain in your hamstring, but um, one trick I can give you to be able to hold it longer is first you could try to tilt your hips from one side to another so you may feel like you're working on one leg at a time and it may be easier for you to deal uh, with the incomfort um, another thing you can try is to face one leg at a time again you want to go with your stomach first you push your stomach down and then the rest of your body follows it's not about going with the head first it's really the stomach first one side, another side. Another thing to give you a break if you're tired from this is to go into a squat position and get back. Okay. Next. Then for your neck, you're gonna do some rolls. Don't go too fast. The idea is that you wanna go as deep in all directions. Only your head should be moving. Next, we're gonna start working on the shoulders. So this stretch is about taking your arm to this direction. But you have to keep something in mind is that your head 
should not go down. If you do this, you're making the stretch a lot easier um, and you're escaping from the difficulty. So it won't be very productive. You want to push with your head too. I will show you from a different angle. You will understand what I mean. This is escaping. This is really stretching. Another great one for the shoulders is this one. You try to get your chest down to the floor. You may also feel it in your lats. So you might be here when you start, but over time it will improve. Another thing is I see a lot of people, they are doing it with their heads um, facing the floor. But I think the best, pro uh, the most productive way to practice this position is with your head up. You can rest your chin on the floor. And this way you can also stretch your neck. If it is getting too easy after a while, you can try to elevate your arms like this way. So you create that space and you will get more stretch going on. Okay, so now we will do the back. Um, what is really important when you're doing the back is to keep your shoulders down. I see many people create a tension like this, but it's not the right way to perform this exercise. You have to relax. If you're not able to take your shoulders down and relax, it means maybe your hands are too close from your body and it's too challenging for you. So you might want to start a little bit further from your hips and you will be able to relax more. And now there is no unnecessary tension. Another thing, again, it's probably about the position of the hands. Some people start lifting their hips and that creates tension in the lower back and it can be quite painful if they keep doing. So again, you keep checking, your hips should be well settled on the floor all the time. And if this is too easy, you can always go up, but keep checking that you are relaxed enough, pushing backwards. I think it is great to add the head back when you're performing this so you can stretch your neck at the same time. You could also have a variation with your feet coming to your head. It doesn't matter if you're not touching yet. It is really um, optional and you will get better over time. So I believe people don't spend enough time on the back. I think you should do at least five minutes for the back. Um, if it's hard for you and you start feeling a bit sore, you should go to the relaxed position with your stomach between your knees and you're sitting on your heels. This will release the uh, tension in your back. It's actually quite nice. And then you can always get back to your stretch. Now we'll do the hip flexors. Hip flexors are really important for the splits, but also for back bends. So the right way to perform this one is by keeping your torso really vertical. You want to not lean forward on your leg, you want to tuck in your stomach. Keep this straight. This way you create a really nice, um, you know, more deep, deeper angle for your stretch. So you have to really focus on that hip flexor, relax it. I really recommend to um, either touch the floor, but many people are too high to touch the floor, so then you should grab maybe some yoga blocks or anything you can use for the balance. So you can relax your muscles and go as deep as you can when you're doing this stretch. This I think you should hold maybe three, four minutes per side. Also, the angle of your leg should be vertical. Or if you want to increase the difficulty, you could even have your foot a little bit forward compared to your knee. 
but it should never be the foot on this side compared to your knee, otherwise your weight goes here and it's supported by your leg and you're not getting as much stretch. So either vertical, either the foot forward. So after we've done that, we will go forward on the front leg. So you keep it straight and again, like earlier, it is the stomach going first. Not rounded, it's not about the head touching, it's about the stomach. Because really, the difficulty is the same whether your head is up or down, as long as you are touching here, you are stretching well. Now I am flexing my toe because I can get more stretch going on, but that makes it harder. If you want, you can point your toe. And this will help for your splits and leg holes. Okay. And now to help out with your middle splits, we will do the position I call the frog. Um, so you try to get your knees and your hips on one line. So just simply on the same line. And you try to go as low as you can with your hips. So you must not arch your back like this, otherwise you're escaping from the stretch. You wanna, on the contrary, push down. You can use your abs a little to push your bottom down. This doesn't slide very well. I think wearing clothes is better. This, I think you should hold at least three minutes. And now we will open the legs. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Just find a position that's comfortable for you. And then you will go forward with your stomach first. You know the drill now? You should not round your back. You have to go forward with your lower stomach first. Lower stomach first and then the rest of the body follows. So if it is very hard to hold, you can just keep going back and forward. Also, some variations that I think are interesting um, is to go to the side. And another side, of course. You could also try to face your leg. And this, I think, should take between three and five minutes. Before we finish, I really want to say consistency is so important. And I know it is common sense and that you don't want to hear it again, but it is true. So you just have to do it and keep doing it. So I hope you enjoyed today's routine and that you will practice it well. Um, I will say bye for now. And thank you very much for watching as always. Bye.